Guys, what's up? I am back for some more Zero Time Dilemma. Today is Thursday, July 7th, 2016, 2.29pm. Don't have a lot of time to record today, but I did want to get a little bit of this game in. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to jump right into this. So what was the last thing I did again? Uh, oh, right, right. It was with stump something with D-Team. Um, hmm. Let's see, where was the... Oh. Right here. Door of Truth. Decision. Oh, right, I need, like, a password or something, I think. Yeah, I think I need a password or something. Okay, so I don't have... Whatever that is. Um, okay, so let's just uh, rotate around, I guess. C-team now. Oh, God. Do I want to do it? Do I want to do it already? I don't know. Where is that in the timeline? Uh -huh. It's right here? Are you serious? Oh man. Alright. Alright. It's got to be done. It's got to be done, guys. I don't I really don't want to see this, but uh God damn it. Suspicion. Oh my god. I don't want to watch somebody getting this their is... the pantry head chainsawed off. Jesus. Oh. Hey Carlos. Where's Junpei? No idea. He was already gone when I woke up. It's locked. Wait, did Junpei do this? You think he woke up first and then locked us in? It's been a long time since you've seen each other, right? Maybe now he's Zero's accomplice. Oh my That's god. That's not possible. The Junpei I know would never do something like that to us. Sorry. It was just one of the possibilities. Junpei... You know, this has been on my mind for a while. But what exactly is he to you, Akane? It's hard to believe that you two just knew each other in grade school. Junpei... He's very... Yes. He's very important to me. She had to think about that. <laughs> All my life, I've never really had many friends to call my own. Ah, That's surprising. I would have taken you as the type guys and girls all fawn over in Japan. Oh, you're very kind. Thank you. But that's not exactly... Junpei always said... I was a girl who always said what shouldn't be said. I never found myself mm -hmm. bullied or anything. But it still seemed as if people considered me something of an odd girl. Junpei was different. He told me he'd rush to my aid whenever I was troubled. Once, when we were young, I was crying over something and he faced the enemy alone. Mm. He sounds like he's a comic book hero. <laughs> yes. To me he is, at the very least. But this past year has completely changed him. Seems to me like he's the exact opposite now. If it was because of me somehow, then this time somehow? I need to rush to his aid. Somehow? That's what I've decided I... anyway. You really like Junpei, don't you? What in the world are you saying, Carlos? I'm out of my depth when it comes to romance. My co-workers do always come to me with their stories, though. So I can tell. Just by looking. I can tell if someone's in love. Does that mean there isn't anyone like that for you? That important? There is. I love my little sister very much. Jesus sister, Christ. Sunshine on my life. Oh, so a sister complex. Ha ha, you're horrible. <laughs> Consider it payback for earlier. Now then, nothing will come from just sitting around here. How about we find a way out? Right. I bet you're eager to see your dearest love as soon as you can. Ah, oh, Carlos! 
Okay, so Akane still. Oh man, no, no! What? 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 Where the hell is that? Oh my God, are you? Was Junpei wearing long sleeves? Was that a thing? Is that some kind of blue doll and a right arm? This glass door is locked. A bunch of green lines are all over it too. Okay, so yeah, uh, Akane still has fee wings for Junpei. Huh. Well, that makes sense, I guess. I mean, she didn't change so much. Junpei just sucks now. What is that? That sticks out. That's that totally. I should be able to interact with this. It's a brighter color than everything else. Okay. Uh, gelatin recipe. Powder, water, mold. Okay. Uh, recipe for gelatin. It's nice of them to draw it out, but it's kind of vague. If there's a recipe, there's probably ingredients too. You should make some and give it to Junpei when we see him. I made it just for you. <laughs> I'm not bold enough to say something like that. That's too bad. A girl like you uh, saying that would definitely capture his heart. Aw. Aw, Carlos, you sweet guy. Okay. Um, so this is a, sp a suspicious box. What? Huh? What's this? It's round. Maybe it's a knob for a machine. Round part. Okay. Oh, oh, Carlos, the potatoes, potatoes are cut up into round pieces. You're right. Time to fire up the grill and chow down. On second thought, I don't feel much like eating while we're stuck here. Left door. There's an arrow pointing right. Right door. Arrow pointing left. See, the only reason I thought to even click on this box was because I saw this red thing here. And I barely saw that. Um... Um, 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 a knob, left door, right door, what are you, oh, this is the gelatin mold thing, oh, wait a minute, this goes here, yes, the machine powered on, this depression in the panel must be the power switch, let's see if we can use it, well, now the power's on, but what's uh, with the rest of this hole, I don't know, maybe our hand goes in? Nothing's happening. Just what is this for? Okay. Hmm. Um. I'm gonna. Okay. Okay, you know what? I guess this one. This one does kind of. You see how this is a brighter color than the others? This is kind of what you need to do. Um. To like make things stand out so people know like what they are and are not supposed to interact with because I'm not gonna click on all of these friggin boxes um, somebody mentioned something about this being an issue in the comments especially for the 3ds version which has like uh, obviously like uh, uh, lower resolution textures so yeah I could totally see how this would be like annoying playing this uh, on a screen on a much lower resolution screen what this is a, a right leg. Is Zero trying to scare us with mannequin parts? Oh, son of a bitch. This is fake. There's really nothing uh, else aside from the leg here. Let's keep looking. The leg is not part of a thing? Okay. <laughs> There's no leg-shaped depression that we need to put that into or something? Alright. Uh, oh, I guess we can probably open this. There seems to be a right arm on the other side of the glass. I'm guessing these buttons are how you open the lock. Uh, huh? There's an odd blue doll. A bottle and a card on the other side of the glass. The door is locked. And what's up with all these pink lines? So the pink and the green lines probably go together to make some kind of a code. Uh, Alright, so the only clue I have to open this, unless there's some other box that I'm supposed to... There's a lot of cans here. None of them are labeled. I wonder what they hold. 
The only clue I've got really is to... Uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, see, this does not stand out at all. This... If there's a clue in here, that's madness. Oh my god. This is a left arm. Pretty sure it's fake. Uh, it's handcuffed and affixed to this bar. Was there a reason for that? Left arm bar. This is a left leg. Is Zero trying to scare us? Powder to make gelatin. This leg looks so real disgusting. The hell, Zero? Putting something like that in here. Left arm. Left leg. Yeah, I don't know what the arms and legs could possibly be right now. Uh. Uh, okay. Well, I don't think... Yeah, I don't have any water. Okay, so this is the water that I'm gonna need to make the gelatin. Um... I thought I'd be able to kick uh, this wooden door down. Zero wouldn't lock us in a place that it'd be that easy to escape from. Let's keep looking. You would know, Akane, right? Leg. Arm. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Fucking shit. Ugh. Yeah, these things need to be fucking way easier to... These things need to stand out more. What is this? Is this a torso? That neck looks a little fucked up. Huh, this is... It says iodine solution. I... The hell am I supposed to do with iodine? Iodine solution in a bottle. I remember being told as a kid to never put it... To never put any of it in my mouth. And the more you're told not to... Not to, the more you want to do it. Did you try it? I was curious, but I knew a boy who did it. And he got severely reprimanded as a result. Let me guess. Junpei? Man, that guy... What could we use this for? I don't know. I don't know how iodine solution is supposed to help me out of this. I'm not even like really 100% sure what iodine solution is. I think it's a, used for like disinfecting things. Um, oh, wait a minute. Maybe we can change the temperature. Let's try it. I don't think warming or cooling this will do any... Ah. Uh... Don't potatoes change when iodine solution is... What? How the fuck am I supposed to know that? Yes, uh, the starch reacts with the iodine and turns purple. D... Down, up, down, left, left, right. Ah, I got it. Okay. Yeah, that's ridiculous. How the... Who the hell would know to do that? I'm taking a picture of this. That was a little insane. Look, letters appeared. Uh, that must mean the experiment was successful. Alright. So that seems to be like the entire, like, all of the difficulty in this room. So, for me to open it, I've got to do this from left to right. So down, up, down, left, left, right. The letters on the potatoes were a hint after all. I never would have imagined something I learned in grade school would help me not f who the- Come on. That's ridiculous. Wait, something's on the screen. Oh, it's this again. It's the same puzzle with just a different, uh... Oh my god. Okay, uh... Oh, whoops. Did not mean to do that. Damn it. Here we go. Okay. Um, okay, let me just line these up here and see which one this actually lines up with. Probably, okay, this one. Alright. And this is already lined up. Oh, this is, okay, this is already good. Okay. Line this up like this. This is lined up. All 
Alright, like that. And then, like... What? Oh, okay, like that. That doesn't look right. This looks like this might be wrong here, but... I don't know. Let's see. Okay. That's pretty much it, I think. I think that's it. I think I got it. Alright. Cool. Easy. Carlos, look at the drawer. Let's see what's in it. Some kind of mold. Ah. It's, hand it's a handcuffed right arm. I doubt it's real, but that's no reason to keep looking at this creepy thing. My arm can't... The arm can't be removed, but we can take the doll. Hmm, are we gonna have to cut this open or something? Carlos, this blue doll, it feels cold. It was in the refrigerator, of course it's cold. It makes me think of those cold packs that you use when you have a fever. I doubt anyone would ever put that doll in their face, Akane. This handcuff is locked. There's a keyhole here, we just need to unlock it with a key. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that same the the potato message. I'm just gonna do that in reverse. Right, left, left, down, up, down. So the reaction uh, to the iodine test on the potatoes was the hint for this door, and now we can get to things inside. Left hand plus doll equals. Are these instructions? It shows a doll. It's saying we should heat it up. Okay. It's a bottle with water in it. It could be useful. Let's take it with us. Alright. Left hand plus, plus doll. This is a right hand. Alright. First let me heat up the doll. You can change the temperature, let's try it. Warm. How about we try warming it up? Look at that, the color turned uh, pale pink. He'd been trapped in that refrigerator so long at, that his skin turned blue. I feel kind of bad for this little guy now. One, two, three, four. Doll plus left arm. Look close, I thought uh, it was ketchup, but it looks like it was written with blood. Ketchup, really? <laughs> you have to admit that it's pretty funny, Zero using ketchup to write this out. Hmm. Hilarious, okay. So this goes in here. I thought it would fit, it's the sh same shape, it's just a little too big. Okay, so it doesn't go in there. Uh, combine... No? What? What? Come on. Oh, the water has to go in first. Okay. Water and powder. I guess this doesn't fit here. We can change the temperature. Let's try it. So I think I warm it up. What happened if we warmed it up? Oh no, you cool it, I think. I think it seems to have changed. Why don't we try cooling? Yeah. I forgot how to make jello. Let's cool this down. Right, yeah, you just put in a thing in a mold and you just put it in the fridge for a while. Oh, it turned solid. Now we have gelatin. Oh, I got it. And now, just put the gelatin. This depression, maybe we could put the gelatin in it. I heard a sound from below the machine. The drawer at the bottom opened. Okay, that's a weird key to a puzzle. Ah. Hey, that's a key. I wonder what it's for. I don't know. What could it be for? I don't know. Uh, where was it? Is it here? Right here, I think. Ah, I think I got it. 
Maybe this key, this is the key for the handcuff. Yes, the arm's been freed. One, two, three, four, plus five, two, nine. Call it one, two, three, four on the stomach. One, two, three, four, five, two, nine. Something's written on the palm, five, two, and nine. One, two, oh, right, right. All right, this was not that super difficult. I just needed to know, basically, the, the, the hardest part about this room is just that you're supposed to interact with this, which really doesn't stick out. And, um, uh, where was it? I don't even remember where it was. Um, oh, the iodine solution that you know, that you're supposed to interact, uh, use the iodine solution on the potatoes. Like, that's, that's craziness. Okay. One, two, three, four, plus five, two, nine. Um, one, two, three, four. Plus five two nine seventeen sixty three. What? E R R four? I guess the number's wrong. Left hand plus doll. Yeah, left hand plus doll. So one two three four plus five two nine. One two three four written on the stomach. The number in the hand could read upside. Really? You see, that's kind of like that. Like, you wouldn't. That's ridiculous. So, what? Six. Is that still a two? I think that's still a two. Six, two, five? That's ridiculous. Okay. Plus six two five. Eighteen fifty-nine. That's madness. What it opened, Carlos? I don't believe it, but oh look, something's under the cover. Maybe the warmed doll's hand will work on this thing? Is this you joking or being serious, Carlos? I'm just kidding. <laughs> the warmed doll's hand... what? Ah. And that's a right... Okay. That's a right arm. And that was here. Maybe this key will work on the handcuff. It worked, we got the arm. Maybe this right hand will work, uh, but it's clenched tight in the fist. We have to figure out how to open it. Oh my god, are you serious? Warm it up. hand it opened got all warm and soft Ugh, this whole gimmick is really gross I think the the idea behind that is like rigor mortis like when you die and I, I, I only know this because I've played a bunch of Phoenix Wright and I've watched a lot of Detective Conan <laughs> um, when you die your body solidifies and I think it solidifies Faster in colder temperature, I think. I think warming up, keeping the body warm um, when a person dies, like, causes rigor mortis to set in slower. And I think in a lot of Detective Conan episodes, that's a concept that's kind of used to, like, um, throw off, like, the time of, uh, the time of death. What a detective can do is, um, by the, like, rate of rigor mortis, like, by the, how... How, how how solidified the corpse has become, they kind of just use that to, like, figure out when the person was killed. I guess, like, the bo like bodies um, solidify pretty much at a, a constant rate, I think-ish. 
All right, we were right. Uh, this was the hand we needed to authenticate. I wonder what's inside. Let's open the door. Yay, escape. This was not a difficult... Oh, no. Oh, god damn it, no. No way, you've got to be kidding me. I think that's what that said. Oh, my god. I don't think this is fake. God damn it, Jumpy. Who killed Junpei is Carlos? What? 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 Damn it! Damn it! Break damn you! Uh, uh, Connie? Oh, Jesus Christ. And it is a wooden door. Okay. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> I like how Akane has the chainsaw and Carlos just has the axe. They're evenly matched now. <laughs> uh, uh, oh god, what the fuck? Why? Why? I just don't know anymore. Damn it. Who would have thought this would happen? All I wanted was to get that $500,000. If only I could save her. Just Save Maria. Oh. It's all I want. What is she like sick? No. And he needs to pay for her operation. Reverie syndrome? Ah. Huh. For example. Hmm. Say there's a PC with basic low-end components. If we played a number of videos all at once on it, what would happen? The processing speed slows down, of course. It's not much better than if the computer had froze. What's happening with your younger sister is similar. So you're saying this isn't carbon monoxide poisoning, but... She just needs a new video card. Right. With Maria, her brain and nervous system seem to be perfectly fine. We couldn't figure out the cause until now. Other patients with the same symptoms began appearing recently. Hmm. And they have. Reverie Syndrome. A variety of moments flicker in and out of the mind, as if one was constantly dreaming. That's why it's called the Daydream, or Reverie Syndrome. What is this like? No complete recoveries as of yet. However, it seems with the newest medical technology, a few cases have been successful at relieving the symptoms. Sounds like. Then please, you must do the same. Morphogenetic fields. Does little Maria stuff have insurance? You uh, do understand what's required for treatment, yes? Money's lots did, of it. She'll... Maria will. So that means I. I absolutely can't die here. That's why you killed Junpei, isn't it? What? what? 
What did you say? Oh god, her eyes. I figured you needed to kill someone to save your sister. And that's why you... Whoa, what, what are you talking about? Don't play dumb! Did you forget that you and I are the only ones in this ward? So it's obvious the killer is... Gab. Gab. <laughs> it had to have been you, Carlos. Gab. What? Oh my god, Akane, what the- Connie, calm down! I am calm! What the hell? Okay, you're right. I'm the only other one here. But I- Oh no, it was definitely you who killed him! Wait, stop! You say that, but maybe you're the one who really did it. What did you say? You were the one who killed Junpei. And now, you're going totally nuts with that chainsaw! I don't believe this. No matter what, even if the world went topsy turvy this very second, I'd topsy turvy. So, I'm going to be the next one to kill, huh? So Akane is if two more people completely die, lost it. You can return to your darling little sister. Hey now, if you kill me, your probability of escape gets pretty high. What? What? Why'd she run away? Did she feel too threatened by me with this axe? Think. Calmly. Think it over again. This is a weird cutscene. Just like any other Code 3. Once 90 minutes are off, an injector in your bracelet will activate. An anesthetic and an agent to erase your memories will be a master. Okay. So after we voted at 1330, we were hit with the anesthetic. We awoke in the pantry after 1800. It's four hours of time not accounted for. What was I doing during that time? Was I really sound asleep then, or... I just can't remember what happened because of the drugs I was given. Maybe Akane was right, and I... What? Uh? Blackout? No, Akane had run off towards control. It might be possible to turn off the lights there. So oh, she shit. did kill Junpei? And she's coming for me. This is creepy. Damn, what do I do? What the hell should I do? Who is the most threatening person here right now? Whoever it was who killed Junpei. So what I need to do is remove that person. Even if it ends up being me. No! What the hell am I thinking? There's no way it could be me. So then... Then... Ah! There you are! This cutscene is... Damn it. Just who did it? Weird. There you are. What? Where's Akane? Is she... This is a really weirdly worded cutscene. Um, who killed Junpei? Um, you know what? Let me take a look at the flowchart where... Oh, I think this is gonna actually... Yeah, this is a really weirdly worded cutscene. Um, this... this... I mean, the writing in this game has been very good so far, but this one's just really weird. Um, Akane and um, and Carlos just going, well, mostly Akane, really. Just her going berserk like that, like... That just really doesn't, it just doesn't fit her character, I don't think. And Carlos is just, like, repeating the same, like, two or three things, like, over and over again. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Who killed Junpei? Let me... Well, I don't know who killed Junpei, especially since, um... Well, who could it have been? Let, let's think here. Carlos. Akane. 
Let me, let me, let me just try this. Let's see. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Do something like that to Junpei. He's very. Yes, he's very important to me. If that's the case, then I'm. I'm the only one who could have killed him. It might have been a demon possessing me. Or maybe it was some kind of parasite. Or I'm under hypnosis? Whatever it was, I'm. Regardless of the reason, I was the. And then I forgot I did it because of the damn amnesia drug. Carlos? Don't come any closer. I'm dangerous. My body moves against my will. I might kill you next. If that's how it is, then... <gasps> Carlos, no! <laughs> no. Why would she say Carlos no? She tried to chainsaw him while he was sitting on the couch. And now she goes, Carlos, no. <laughs> what was that? She's No. Did she say no because she wanted to be the one to do it? Why did this happen? Yeah, this is weird. Like, come on. You were just trying to kill him with a chainsaw. Um Dad. I won't let anyone die. Oh shit. Carlos! Carlos! That right there was some good voice acting, but... I'm so sorry! How can I? You couldn't have killed Junpei. And I... I... What? <laughs> Why couldn't he have? What are you talking about, Akane? Because if he did it, then it had to have been you, right? I think that fragment only had two branches. Um. Flow chart. Ah, uh, yeah, there were only two branches here. What? What? Hmm. Well, um... Alright. I don't see what else could possibly have happened here. Alright then. Ajane? Zero? Can I put zero? Is that a... Well, there's only two branches, so I don't think so. That's right. Akane. She has to be the one who killed Junpei. Die! Akane, why did you kill him? I told you I didn't. I didn't kill him! Whoa. Oh shit. Oh, we're not showing us the severed hand though. Oh, they are. Oh, wow. Damn. No. I didn't kill. Uh, Junpei. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I couldn't uh, avenge you. Aven Akane? Akane does not seem like a vengeful person at all. Like, this is so not fitting of her I... character, I don't think. 
I just killed... And that was a weak ass scream. I'm sorry, Carlos. That was weak. I was weak. All right. So, um, uh, uh what? Why is this? Wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. So we didn't unlock anything there. Why didn't we? Is that because we didn't, uh... Carlos's sin. Carlos's decision. So both of these continue. Carlos's sin. So Carlos has to kill Akane in this path. And this is the same path that, uh... The Door of Truth is on. So I think to unlock these locks, I think what I need to do is um, betray everyone up here. Because that's the only thing on this path here that I haven't done. The only possible thing. Um, hmm. Let me take a look at... Alright, so this is the only other thing I have to do here for C-Team. I guess next time... Alright, so I got one, one, and one. So I got one left for each of them. So next time what I'm going to do is just... Uh, I'm going to just go through Q-Team, D-Team, and then C-Team. And if I don't unlock anything new, then I'm going to go back all the way to the beginning and do these three. That should unlock some more things. Okay, um, there was one other thing I wanted to check. Where was it? What is it? Healing room? Uh, what was it? Inject. Don't inject. It was with, uh, C team, I think. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, um, well, I, I have a little bit more time left. I, um, I don't want to... I don't want to record too much and then like kind of have to I kind of episode short. Ugh. Okay. So yeah, that that whole cutscene was just really weird. Um very very strange. Um the voice acting in that cutscene was not great. Except Carlos had one really good line. But that, especially that scream at the end, that was just not, that wasn't good. Um, Akane just behaving in the way that she did just really, I don't think, fit her character very well at all. Um, I, you see, okay, here's, here's, and here's why I think that. Uh, if you've played 999, basically what Akane just did was pull a fucking clover. And, um... She basically, she, somebody close to her, uh, she thought had been murdered and she just lost it. But in 999, Clover losing it like that, it was built up over a kind of a, a good amount of time. Like a lot of time passed between Clover thinking that, um, her brother had been killed. Well, first her brother had gone missing, Snake had gone missing, and then she thinks quote unquote think well she thinks that snake had been killed when she sees the body in the shower room um and then in some of the paths she kind of loses it. if she goes into door one she loses it and um she becomes an axe murderer plus clovers kind of seemed more like fragile Akane did not see. She Akane, I always thought was a strong character. She never really seemed fragile to me, um, and her sudden like just going berserk like that just happened immediately. <clears throat> I know she was in love with Junpei and everything, but it just, I just don't think that that fit her character. Maybe if the voice acting had been better, or if the dialogue had been like written a little bit differently, then uh, it would have been 
would have been better. But yeah, I just don't think that that scene fit Akane's character. <clears throat> um, but I think, especially, it's, okay, here. Yeah, because this takes place basically at the beginning of the flowchart, and because the game is designed in a fragmented way, there really wasn't any time to like, um, like show like a slow decomposition of Akane's like psyche, you know, like like with Clover, like between Clover's between Snake um, going missing and them actually finding the body, and then her actually losing it eventually and um killing a uh, killing people with an axe like a lot of time passed there wasn't really any time for akane to like have that like slow like degradation of her just like psyche it, it kind of it happened it had to happen immediately it had to just because of uh, the the way that the story is fragmented like this and just that there's no there was just no time. There was a no time dilemma for the writers, guys. So they had to just, uh, just have Akane behave. But you know what? I know that there was no time. But if that's the case, then I think what should have happened was that Akane should have just behaved differently in that cutscene then. Or the cutscene itself should have been a little bit, probably a lot longer than, than it was. Um... Like it should have, it should have built up. Like it should have just been like a, like an on-off switch. Like she sees Junpei's severed head, and which is horrifically traumatizing. I understand, but I don't know. I, I think it just, it was a little too sudden. I think it was a little too sudden. It should have, it should have been built up a little more. That actually would have been a really cool cutscene, just to kind of watch Akane like slowly lose it after. Yeah, that would have actually been really cool. Like if the cutscene, like if there were a cutscene between like, like here and here, or here and here, where uh, Akane, like it's in the perspective of Akane, and like um, she's just kind of like working things out in her head, and she just kind of loses it. That would have been a really cool cutscene, I think. But I mean, I guess that that wouldn't really make. I guess that wouldn't make so much sense because uh, we're essentially playing this game through like the eyes, quote unquote, or like through the mind of Carlos, Diana, and Q. Like, I don't know if we've ever heard, like we've heard inner monologue for Carlos and I'm not sure about Diana. Yeah, you know what? I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure. Let me, let me just retract that last statement. I'm not sure. But, um... Yeah, I, did, I wish there would have been a little bit more build-up to that. But anyway, um, it is about 3.30 right now. We're going to upload another video. <sighs> Guess I'm going to eat. Okay, guys, uh, that's going to be it for me. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember to give the video a quick like. Um, if you haven't done so, feel free to subscribe. I'll, as always, feel free to comment. I'll get back to some more Zero Time Dilemma. Um, well, since since I'm done with Part Zero, since I finished that yesterday, I'm going to be uploading this LP very fast. I'm going to aim for like three videos per day. I'm going to record a lot more tomorrow, so I should have plenty, plenty to, rec uh, to upload. Um, look forward to more Zero Time Dilemma, and I'll see you later.